<clears throat> What's up guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. As you can tell, yes, it's time for another episode of The Everyday Kitchen. And why is it called The Everyday Kitchen? Well, like I explain every time. Look at it. It's ugly. It's old. It needs remodeling. It needs new appliances. Look at the wallpaper. Good lord. It's ugly. It's an everyday kitchen. We don't all have a million dollar kitchens, okay? That's why I call this segment the everyday kitchen. Now you know. Today, guys, we're going to make a little dish called something. I don't know what I'll call it. It doesn't have a fancy name. Today's dish is going to be tilapia. We have ourselves some frozen veggies. Ooh, frozen veggies. We have onion. We have pepper. We have minced garlic, lemon. And we have... A plethora of herbs and spices. Herbs? I don't know. Herbs, spices, maybe. In that cabinet that we can use as well. So I'm going to get this going. We're going to make us some nice tilapia. going to bake it in the old oven. That's how I do it. So let's get it going. Let's get our little onion going here. Now, let's do the old pepper. Not many seeds in there at all. That is good. All right, now what we're going to do, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I don't have any oil. I used up all my dadgum oil. I've been using vegetable oil and olive oil, that kind of stuff, instead of butter, because uh, they don't have any sodium. Uh, so, hmm, I'm just going to go and put a little water in the pan. Put the vegetables in there and we'll go from there you gotta improvise you know All right, now that we got the vegetables in the pan, we're going to open up our tilapia. They do come in these little vacuum sealed pouches. I uh, got the hot water running. Uh, whenever I open up the package, I just kind of let a little hot water run inside the package. Kind of helps me get the fish out, and then we go from there. Let's do that. Thank you. 
All right. Now we're just going to take our tilapia, stick that bad boy right there, put a little pepper, a little garlic powder. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Just a little bit. I don't like to do too much. A little bit of my no salt. A little bit of lemon. A little bit of minced garlic. Wrap her up. That's how you do her. Got one. Now, without any cuts in the video, I'm going to show you a little secret that I do. I put a little water in my pan here. Kind of helps from everything getting too hot and too uh, and, and sticking and maybe burning. It just gives it a little bit of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, you know, you know the word I'm looking for. That's what it gives it. So let's get that in the oven. We got the tilapia in on 400 degrees. I'll do it for about do it for about 40 minutes. It may not take quite that long because I let the oven completely uh, preheat. Uh, most of the time I don't. Don't know why. I don't usually let the oven preheat. I just go and I get stuff done. So uh, now I'm going to spice up our veggies just a little. Put a few of those things that you've seen me put on the fish. A couple little things off in there just to give them a little bit of... Whatever that is. Going to give that to the vegetables just a little bit. So let's do it. Once again, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Can't go wrong with garlic. Black pepper. Garlic powder. Some celery flakes. Why not? Some
some no salt. Anyway, whew, let's cut this video off. We're going to let this stuff cook for another 30 minutes. And then we'll see how they do. Should be ready to go. And there's that again. Don't know what it is, but here we go. See you in 30 minutes. All right, guys, it's that time. Let's get things out of the oven. Got some black eyed peas. The veggies. Looking pretty good, guys. I'm going to unwrap these boogers and uh, see what we got. Hopefully, I didn't leave them on too long. Ooh. Oh, yeah. And it's not stuck. Good, good, good. I was kind of worried it might be stuck a little bit. But all good. Black eyed peas. Love black eyed peas. I ate a whole can. As a matter of fact, they got me a bowl. Yep, I like whole cans. <sighs> also, made me a nice little bowl of rice. And by nice little bowl, I mean a lot so I'm not gonna eat all that of course I just made a big old bowl of rice so let's dish this out on a plate we're gonna taste it and we're probably gonna love it so let's dish it out I'm gonna even go for a glass plate All right, it kind of tore. We're going to be okay, though. All right, guys, let's give her a shot. Look at that. Look at all that garlic. Oh, 
hope it's good. Looks like pretty good stuff, guys. I'm not putting any kind of sauces or anything on it. I'm trying to have kind of a healthy meal here. Mmm. Pretty good. Now, of course, things like this will always be better with some kind of a, a sauce or something on them. Uh, even some soy sauce or something like that. Uh, teriyaki. Sweet sour. I mean, you could do, you know, a host of things on there. Other types of dressings and marinades and stuff. But, you know, I'm wanting to have something pretty healthy and something I can feel good about myself. And having a lot of spices and stuff like that. And, and the garlic and using a lot of black pepper and... And all that stuff, it helps out, you know, it helps to give foods flavor. But, uh, you know, uh, I kind of compare it to turkey bacon. You know, a lot of people will try turkey bacon and they don't like it. It don't taste like bacon. Well, it's not pig bacon. So, it's not going to taste like pig bacon, so you got to get that notion out of your head. Just like your no salts and stuff like that. They're not going to really taste like salt. So get that notion out of your head. It's a salt substitute. It's something that can take the place of sodium in your diet. That gives you kind of, sort of, a little bit of a hint of maybe it could be some kind of salt. <laughs> so, you know, you got you to gotta give and take a little bit. Now, I did put a lot of the no salt in these. Typically, I like my beans with a lot of salt. So, since I'm not using salt, I put a lot of the no salt in here. and I guess I'm going to have high potassium. Yeah, tastes pretty good. Now, that tastes pretty good. Of course, the black eyed peas has some sodium in it. Uh, anyways, coming from the can. But that's never enough for me. Uh, so I would always just dump salt on them. I just love salt. Mm. My rice is done good. Fish is fine and tender. One thing I'm surprised about is the minced garlic. It has some flavor, but it's not an overpowering flavor, and I don't know if that's good or bad. It seems like I, it seems like the minced garlic is pretty fresh and pretty stout, but when you use it, you don't really have a stoutness. You know, don't really have a stoutness to it, and uh, I don't know if that's right or wrong. I don't know. I think I'd like to have a little bit more of that punch. I don't know. If you got any suggestions, I mean, I could use, you know, real cloves of garlic or whatever you want to call them and break them up. And, but that minced garlic, that minced garlic is, is, uh, I mean, I assume it's fairly fresh, kind of, sort of. Anyway, guys, there you have it. That's my little recipe. And I've cooked this before. This is nothing new. Um, of course, not using any salt or any uh, sauces or anything is new. So, 
But if you're looking for something healthy, I recommend making this. Sorry, I got rice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's not a real expensive meal. I have two more pieces in there. Most times whenever I make tilapia, I'll eat like three pieces. But I don't know if I'm going to do it today. I think I'm going to put the rest up and save it and uh, eat it maybe tomorrow or maybe a late night snack. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy my everyday kitchen segments. And uh, watch, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I do all this for free. I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Go watch all my other videos, the cooking and taste tests and all that stuff if you want. Cycling, video games, discussions, uh, whatever the heck I'm doing out there. Photography, art, I don't know what all I got going on. Go check out all my stuff. I'm sure you'll find something you'll enjoy. Make this meal. Make all my other meals. Good stuff. Guys, don't forget, get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Even when eating a big bowl of black eyed peas with no salt in them. No salt. Not that there's no salt, but there's no, it's no salt. It's very confusing. Anyway, see y'all later. I'm going to finish this up.